Welcome to Design Software Spotlight. I know a lot of you really love Blender, but sometimes it can be useful to expand your field of view when it comes to design software. In this episode, I'll be showing you three design programs that can supplement your work with Blender that you may not even know about. Most of these are free or can be gotten for free, so I'll be showing you how to do that as well. Some of these are pretty specific case, but I didn't want this to just list programs that you already know, so here it is. Blender has some excellent sculpting tools, but it can still be tedious for large-scale projects such as terrain, or let alone texturing a terrain. For this, I recommend World Machine. World Machine allows users to generate landscapes with nodes, using very advanced algorithms to simulate events such as erosion, thermal weathering, and more. It allows you to export all the necessary maps using nodes so they can easily be used in a program like Blender. It's fairly easy to get started with and you really only need to know about 10 nodes to use it like most people. The indie development version is $120, but there is actually also a free version available under the download tab. There are only a few limitations to the free version. You cannot export past a certain size and you cannot create commercial projects. Other than this, the free version is fully featured, which is great for beginners to try out. Here you can see the kind of scale and size I was able to put out using the free version and Unreal Engine. Before we move on, I want to say I'm coming out with a very, very valuable video next week that I've been working on for a while. I put a lot of effort into these things and would like to be able to invest more time, so please subscribe and like the video if that is something that you're interested in. That of course is all I ask. This next program is called Quixel Mixer. It allows you to mix items from the Quixel library of photo scans to create some really unique materials. I find it pretty useful for ground materials in particular. If you know Quixel, however, you know that their library is very expensive, at a price that most of us would be unwilling to pay entirely. However, if you have used Unreal Engine and have an Epic Games account, you're now allowed unlimited access to all Quixel products for free. I believe this is because Epic Games has bought out the company and is using it as a competitive advantage in the game engine market. There is a catch to this one and that is that you may only use the Quixel assets if the end product is for Unreal Engine. That means you can use something like Blender to modify it and work with geometry, but only if you're going to render the final piece in Unreal. Or if it's for a game, create it in Unreal. If you're already an Unreal developer, this is great news for you, and if not, it's still fun to mess around with to practice material techniques. Now I strayed away from free for this last one as you'll need an Adobe membership to use this product, but I rarely see it talked about and I know a lot of you already have Adobe Creative Cloud memberships anyways. It's called Mixamo and it's essentially a giant library of motion captured animations of pretty much anything you can think of. You can export these animations or upload your own humanoid models to apply the animations to them and then export. In fact, if you don't even have a rigged character, you can upload unrigged characters and Mixamo will automatically rig them for you. This comes with your Adobe subscription, but I rarely hear people talk about it, even though I found it to be super useful, especially for background characters or non-player characters who you don't want to overspend time on. It can be a little bit fiddly, but once you get going, it's literally just two and a half thousand mocap animations for you to make use of. Now, I don't want to make this video too long. I'm still working on the insane video that's coming out Wednesday. Blender knowledge is so prevalent, so I hope that one of these programs was foreign to you before this video. Please let me know, that would mean a lot. If there's any way I can provide value to you, please let me know in the comments as I respond to all feedback and will be very grateful to hear from you. Good luck on all of your Blender projects and have an amazing day.